In Tokyo, Yuichi Kimura seeks revenge after his son Wataru is pushed off a rooftop, boarding a bullet train in search of the attacker. Guided by his handler Maria Beetle, operative Ladybug is assigned to retrieve a briefcase full of cash from the same train, replacing his co-worker Carver, who called in sick. Ladybug is reluctant, as his recent string of bad luck during his jobs resulted in accidental deaths. Also on the train are two English assassin brothers codenamed Lemon and Tangerine, who just rescued a man, the son, from kidnappers, and are taking him and the briefcase to his father, a Russian-born Yakuza boss called the White Death. During the trip, the son is poisoned. Ladybug discreetly steals the briefcase, but is attacked by another assassin, the Wolf, who mistakenly thinks that Ladybug was the one who poisoned his entire wedding party, in the same manner as the son's poisoning. After a brief fight with a confused ladybug, the wolf accidentally kills himself. Yuichi finds the person who pushed Wataru off the roof, a young woman codenamed The Prince, but she overpowers him. She explains that she pushed Wataru off the roof to lure Yuichi to the bullet train as part of a plan to have him kill the White Death and that she has a henchman holding Wataru hostage in the hospital to ensure that Yuichi follows her orders. Ladybug recognizes Lemon as the owner of the briefcase, and offers it back to him in return for getting off the bullet train. Lemon suspects that Ladybug killed the son, leading to a fight in which Lemon is knocked unconscious after realizing Ladybug was innocent. The prince and Yuichi find the briefcase, booby trap it with explosives, and rig Yuichi's gun to explode if fired. Ladybug encounters Tangerine and kicks him off the bullet train after another scuffle, but Tangerine climbs back aboard from outside. A suspicious lemon shoots Yuichi, but collapses after drinking from a water bottle Ladybug had previously spiked. The prince shoots Lemon and conceals him and Yuichi in a bathroom. Ladybug encounters yet another assassin, the Hornet, who poisoned the sun and the wolf's wedding party with the venom of the boomslang snake. After a struggle, both are exposed to the venom. And Ladybug steals her anti-venom to save himself. Tangerine runs into the prince, realizing that she shot Lemon, only to be interrupted by Ladybug and killed before he can shoot her. At the next stop, Yuichi's father, the Elder, boards the bullet train. After she flees, the Elder tells Ladybug he will remain to confront the White Death, who killed his wife while taking over the Yakuza. Finding an injured Yuichi and Lemon still alive, the four work together to face the White Death. At Kyoto, Ladybug gives the White Death the briefcase. The prince, revealed to be the White Death's daughter, tries to goad him into shooting her with the rigged gun, but fails. The White Death explains that everyone on the bullet train was linked to the death of his wife, and that he hired them hoping they would kill each other. The White Death's henchmen open the briefcase, which explodes, knocking Ladybug and the White Death back onto the bullet train. The White Death's remaining henchmen board and battle the assassins, while the Elder duels the White Death, causing the bullet train to crash into downtown Kyoto. Emerging from the wreck, impaled with the Elder's katana, the White Death tries to kill Ladybug, but the rigged gun explodes in his face. The Prince threatens Ladybug, Yuichi, and the Elder with a machine gun, but is struck and killed by a passing fruit truck driven by Lemon. Maria arrives to retrieve Ladybug while Japanese authorities begin to clean up the damage caused by the bullet train crash. This is a highly entertaining action comedy that oozes style. It's extremely fun and a bit on the outrageous side, not meant to be taken too seriously. It's filled with funny and memorable moments. The action is awesome, well shot and clear. 
which is no surprise coming from the guy who directed John Wick, Atomic Blonde and Deadpool 2. There are a ton of characters and I like them all. The cast does such a great job, especially Brian Tyree Henry and Aaron Taylor Johnson. I remember first seeing Brian Tyree Henry in Atlanta and really enjoying that role. Since then, he has taken on vastly different roles and killed all of them. And I already thought Aaron Taylor Johnson is a great actor, but the way he completely transforms into his character is remarkable. To the point where you don't see Aaron Taylor Johnson. Literally, I didn't realize it was him until the credits rolled. If I had to come up with negatives, I would say it's a bit hectic at times, but not enough to take me out of it. And the story borders on being convoluted, but I was able to follow it all so I'll call it intricate instead. In the end I had a great time with this movie and would definitely watch it again, although I'll be turning on subtitles since some dialogue was hard to understand in a snatch kind of way. Please subscribe for more movie reviews. Thanks for watching.